Hey guys, welcome to video 13.1, the start of World War One. And the first thing I want you to know is we're going to talk a lot this un unit about NEMA. N N I M A. And what does the N stand for? Nationalism. I think this is a pretty cool little picture that shows it. You can see every country is kind of jostling, fighting for position. Nationalism. Larger nations going around the world trying to acquire as much land as possible. Why were they doing it? Because they wanted to say they're number one. All right. Conflicts occurred when two powers locked horns over territory. Um, and we're going to talk about Germany and France. They're going to fight over Alice or Alsace-Lorraine. Alsace-Lorraine is this little area here between France and Germany. Uh, Germany wants it. France wanted it. Germany took control in 1871, um, even though the residents there consider themselves French. So it, this is the era we're looking at, all right? There's another example of it. You can see why the French would consider it theirs. You can see why the Germans would consider it theirs. What's that area called? Alsace-Lorraine, all right? There's another area that's going to be important for nationalism. What's called the the Balkans, called the powder keg of Europe. It's this area here, the peninsula. Notice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. At least eleven to twelve groups of people living in this area, who all say they should have their own country, who all say their nation deserves to have be number one, have the most power. All right. So nationalism. It could be large countries looking to say they're number one, or it could be little countries saying we deserve to have one country, a nation. All right. Second reason here is imperialism. So that's the I, N, nationalism. I, imperialism. If you notice, if you look, look at how few places are neutral. We just went through this area being fought over. We went over this area being fought over. We went all over this area being fought over. If you look, there's very land left for it to be fought over. All right. Imperialism is a massive rush for colonies that we just did in the 1880s. By 1910, most of the desirable colonies were uh, taken. European powers start pushing and shoving for the last few. Think of this as like the great Christmas rush for PS17s or Xbox 3000s or whatever it is. People are going to fight. Heck, my mother-in-law once pushed somebody for a Tickle Me Elmo. Things can get real. All right. So you got Germany and France. Um, Great Britain and France had dominant positions in the imperial race. Great Britain and France had dominant positions. Germany was envious and wanted more. Notice again, it's Gerald versus Frank. So not only are they fighting all, over Alsace-Lorraine, Germany was jealous because France had more colonies. Think about it. We didn't talk about Germany at all in the last unit. M, militarism. Militarism is the desire to have a bigger, stronger army navy. Why do you need that? To prove you the toughest country in the world, and so you can control your colonies, all right? Um, and don't forget modern weapons. You've got the, oh, this is going to come out good. You've got the machine gun, all right? We'll talk a little bit about that. Look at the change in spending in just, a few years. Look at the, the increase. In a very short amount of time, in like 44 years, the millions of pounds spent on, on military, on weapons, on defense, skyrockets. This is really interesting. Between 1910 and 1914, France increased its military spending by 10%. Britain by 13%, Russia by 39%, Germany is spending it, increasing by 73%. They're like on steroids, all right? Making this even more complicated was, A, the alliance system. Alliance system could be a promise to protect. I'm your bro, I've got your back. There was also promises not to attack. You know, I'll never attack you, you never attack me. And what this created was a chain that led to the war. So we've got a few alliances. And that is going to scare some people. And what we see here is, who's this? Good. Who's that? Sacre bleu. Good, good. Um, once these three line up, 
Germany, who hates France, needs a friend so they get Austria-Hungary. All right? Remember, it's Nima, not Nemo. Russia had a side deal to promise to protect. Who's this down here? This is Serbia. All right? And just remember, this is one of the questions that I think you will see on the test. So what we're going to do now is end video one. And I think that other explosion is going to scare the bejesus out of people.